word problems in arithmetic progression. So let me show you a few problems here. So other questions also you'll expect the same similar but using the formula and from the given data we supposed to solve. So see the first one. A sum of 8000 is invested at 10% simple interest. Calculate the interest at end of each year. Then does the sequence of interests at end of consecutive years form an AP or not? You have to find out. If yes, if the first term and common difference, you have to write. Right? So let us find out the interest at end of first year. End of the first year. The formula is PTR by 100. PTR by 100. Principal amount is 8000 time for one year rate of interest is 10 by 100 Okay, so this you can cancel so 100 times 80 80 into 10 So rupees 800 800 is the interest at the end of the first year, right? Let us continue for the second year interest at End of uh, second year Second year means in the place of time will take two. Same formula PTR by 100. So 8000 time for two years 10 by 100. Right? You can simplify this 100 times 80. 80 into 2, 160 into 10, 1600. 1600 is the interest end of the second year. Similarly, interest at end of third year. Third year is the formula same PTR by 100 right so 8000 into 3 into 10 by 100 simplify this value so 100 times 180 80 into 3 into 10 it is a 2400 now 800 600 2400 so on this is a sequence let us write the sequence 800 1600 2400 so on so this is in arithmetic progression if you observe common difference is same second term minus first term third term minus second term is same right therefore the first term is 800 and common difference is also 800 so as for the problem yes it's in ap so first term is 800 and common difference is also rupees 800 right this the question is asked to select simple interest common interest particular formula you can apply and do it then using the straight formula for AP, I'll show one more problem in this. In a school, students stand in a rows. In rows, if 30 students stand in the first row, 27 in second row, 24 in the third row, and 6 in the last row. So the sequence, let me write the sequence form. Sequence formed by the number of students standing in different rows. That is first row 30 27 24 so on the last row is 6 this is the first line now how many rows are there and what is the total number of students how many rows right so n value we have to find out okay in though this is an ap here is a is equals to 30 and common difference 27 minus 30 remember second term minus first term that is minus 3 and L is given last term is 6 L is the last term or Tn nth term is 6 we can take two options L is L is equal to 6 or nth term is 6 now as per the formula Tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d this is a general term general term formula we can apply in this so Tn is the last term L is the last term or Tn also nth term. This is also the last one. 6 is equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. D is the common difference is minus 3. Okay. So, all this equation get N value. 30 take this side. 6 minus 30 is equals to N minus 1 into minus 3. 6 minus 30. So, minus 24. Minus 3 is multiplying with this. Take this side, divide by it minus 3 is n minus 1. Okay, so minus minus cancel 3 1s are 3 8. So n is equals to 9. Right? So there are 9 rows now. Number of rows are 9. Again, the question is 
what is the total number of students so we got n value is equal to 9 so we supposed to find out s9 sum of 9 terms so already the formula is sn is equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d right s9 sum of 9 terms apply the formula 9 by 2 into 2a a value is 30 plus n minus 1 so 9 minus 1 and d is minus 3 okay you'll simplify this you'll get the number of students so 9 by 2 as this within a bracket you simplify 2 into 30 60 9 minus 1 is 8 8 into minus 3 so minus 24 right so 9 divided by 2 60 minus 24 is 36 you can cancel this so 18 18 times 9 162 so 162 students total number of students is 162 and total number of rows is 9 so pattern the series or sequence you frame first then see what is the given data account that we got formula to apply we are only general term formula and sum of n terms formula right so those are watching the first time you can subscribe to our channel you can go through the series or complete uh, chapters all the chapters subject wise you can go in order to learn well